Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be showing you another DIY home project in where we remodeled our simple mudroom area from this to this. The first item you're going to be needing for this project is some shiplap. We had some leftovers from other projects so we ended up using it for the wall. It was perfect since we didn't have a big wall. And if you've never done shiplap before, it's fairly simple. All you have to do is join the boards together and then you would staple it down like you see here. Once we were done doing that, we ended up realizing that some of the shiplap boards at the bottom were loose. So we went ahead and nailed that down. and so. We had to spackle that up because we didn't want it to show. So we used the fast dry premium spackling. And then after that, we sanded everything down. And here you have the wall. It's all spackled and sanded. And now, as you can tell, some of the shiplap didn't go wall to wall. And that was okay for us because we were gonna do a trim piece all around. But if you're not going to do a trim piece like you see here, um, you definitely need to make sure the shiplap goes wall to wall because you don't wanna have the gaps in between. Other than that, the next step would be to paint. We're using the Iron Mountain color. And just a pro tip, when painting shiplap, we do with a brush in between the shiplap, and then we use a roller. We feel like this is the best way to paint shiplap. Okay, so now moving on to the bench and the shelves, we went ahead and purchased a two by 10, and then we purchased a one by two, and that would be the base and support for the bench. And if you're wondering what we used for the trim piece uh, for the shiplap, we used white PVC. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're gonna cut out the wood into four different pieces. So we're gonna be using two for the shelves on the top portion, and then at the bottom, we're gonna do a bench and we're gonna do two pieces to join together to create that bench. So um, as you can tell, the edges are rounded and because we're gonna join these two together, we want more of a flat surface. So we went ahead and trimmed that out. And now as you can see, it's flat and smooth. So we're gonna put some glue on this and do some pocket holes and join them together. Okay, so now what we did was cut the one by two into three pieces. So we measure out the mudroom area walls and we're gonna be attaching this and forming a shape of a U. So you'll see it on the next slide. Here you go. So this is how it turned out to be and that would be the base for the bench. So once he had that support done, he went ahead and did the bench and I apologize, I didn't get to record that. Uh, things got a little hectic at the house. I have a newborn, if you didn't know, and so I had to attend to her, and he went ahead and did the bench, and I didn't record it. But anyhow, um, it was really simple. Like I mentioned earlier, all we did was put glue, and then we joined them together with the pocket holes, and then we stained it. So the stain that we ended up using was Early American. It was our first time using this color stain. We normally do the special walnut or the espresso or the um, provisional, but we decided to do something different, especially because the wall was dark gray and we thought a darker color stain wouldn't really blend in together. And a pro tip that we would like to share with you is that we normally grab a piece of wood and we stain two colors or three colors that were in between and put it against the wall or whatever we're doing to see that it would work for us and if we like it and that that's how we make our decision. And with that said, we went ahead and finished staining the other two shelves. So we only did one coat all around as we wanted it to be very light. So we didn't need to do two. Uh, and then this is how it came out. And then to finish it off, we used a poly and then we let that dry out as well. And I forgot to mention, I don't know if I did actually, but we did pocket holes on these two shelves because that is how we are attaching it to the wall. Okay, so once that was done drying up, all we had to do was attach it to the wall through the pocket holes. And here you have it. But there was something else that we had to do, and that was because we realized the shelves were loose. They were actually not sturdy as they should when you screw into the studs. And the reason for that was because there is shiplap in between the shelves and the wall. And so the screws that we had weren't long enough. So what we ended up doing was purchasing braces so we can attach that and just add an extra layer of support. 
and because we didn't want it to show we attached it to the top as you can see here and not to the bottom which normally you see more often and that's just because i didn't want it to be seen but this is what we ended up having to do and just to let you know how we did this we ended up purchasing three and a half inch construction screws and then we purchased these screws over here as well and the three and a half inch screws we used for the pocket holes so from the shelves into the shiplap and then we got the three inch screws and these were for the brackets front so from the brackets into the shiplap and then we got one inch screws and those were from the brackets down into the shelf so i really hope that this makes sense if it doesn't please let me know down in the comments below and i will make sure to answer or if you follow me on instagram you can always dm me and the last and final step is to attach your hooks so we went ahead and purchased double hooks which we got at home depot but i'm sure you can find any of these materials at any of your local home improvement stores so i really hope that you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing hit that bell notification button so we will be coming out with more videos on diys for our home if you like that please let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see something else please let me know as well and we will be back with more videos